fair, accurate, to the point. The 10 o'clock news continues on Montana's news station. Welcome back everyone. Giving blood is giving the gift of life and a Shoto woman is thanking donors for saving her life. The news station's Katie Stuckey talks to the cancer survivor who says blood donations continue to keep her alive. I was um, moving along in life just like anybody else and I was happily living on a ranch in Shoto, Montana with my best friend, my husband, and my eight children. But when Marilee Stott found out she had acute myeloid leukemia, time on the ranch with her family was replaced by months in the hospital. It seemed to happen almost in an instant. My life changed and I was in bed and a very sick woman. When doctors told her she had a 50% chance of living, Stott says she made the decision to be a survivor. I wanted to grow old, experience life, see the world, do the grandma RV thing, and so I knew the only way out of this mess was to move forward and to go through it. But Stott was not alone on the road to recovery. Her husband Daniel remains at her side through all treatment. An anonymous donor gave Stott his bone marrow. And beyond her doctors and nurses, a much larger group continues to help give Stott life. Stott gets a blood transfusion every three weeks to replenish her red blood cells. Since she started keeping track, Stott has received 145 units of blood. 145 units that are more than just blood. For Stott, each unit represents a person helping her to live. I don't know who they are, but I need to let them know who I am. I am a mother, I am a wife, I am a daughter, I am a sister, I am a neighbor, I am a woman, I am someone's friend, and because of them, I'm able to continue on with all my earthly goals, and I feel so grateful. Stott now lives cancer-free and even describes her journey with cancer as quite a gift. In Great Falls, Katie Stuckey for Montana's news station. The American Red Cross takes blood donations every day. If you'd like to donate specifically to leukemia patients, there will be a drive on Thursday, January 17th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the Sletton Cancer Institute in Great Falls. Stott says she plans to greet donors at the blood drive. What a beautiful smile and an inspiration to a lot of people.